All right, guys. Here's the um, Jet City 20 watt tube amp. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a bad tube. I'm pretty sure it's what's the matter with it. Uh, let me see if I can do some tricky camera work here. Get light this. I don't know if you can yeah, tilt it back here a little bit. Maybe. Okay, two tubes down there. The one on the left, okay, those are EL84s. The one on the left uh, is, it seems, it's more like, uh, I don't know, it's brand new tubes. It's a brand new amp, you know. What happened was, the one on the left, was, it looked like a light show inside of it. like More like it's short and not the typical, as if the tube were getting weak. I think it's just a defective tube, so... I got the amp and I plugged it in. It was popping, cracking, and uh, you know, after I looked down in here, I saw what was going on. After I looked through the vent, I saw that the tube was shorting or whatever. Um, called a musician's friend. They said, they said, well, you can send it back, or we can give you a forty dollar in store credit or whatever. I said, well, dude, won't you just, you know, uh, won't you just hook me up with a couple of tubes? So they sent me, they sent me a couple of EL eighty fours. Made in the Slovak Republic. It's JJ Electronic. Uh, probably a lot better than the Chinese tubes that are in it. Now, I've never changed the tubes in this amp before, obviously, being that it is a new amp with the defective tube. So I don't know if I can do it from the back or I'll have to do it, take this grill off here, this vent, grill, whatever you want to call it, take it off and work from the front and the back with both hands. But anyway, what I want to do, I want to get this, these tubes replaced and see if it's a fix. And uh, I, might, I might plug in. I want to, work on, uh, want to work on another project, so we'll see what happens. I'm getting this last screw out of here, guys. We'll see. I thought I'd go ahead. It's just six screws. Go ahead and pop this off, too. It may help because the way I've got to approach it is up and behind. You got the a, a control box that's in here. I mean, it's on the front side. It just looked to me like this is going to be a a lot easier to do it this way. Afraid I'd go ahead and bite the bullet. Just gonna see if I can pop this up. Yeah. Uh, I started, uh, I haven't had a cigarette for a couple of days. I've smoked for a lot of years now. And I'm really just done with it. I don't even enjoy it anymore. You know, there's the, obviously, you know, it's a physical addiction, but just don't enjoy it. And man, it is quite a, uh, quite an undertaking. <laughs> this whole not smoking thing, it is tough, guys. But I think it's doable. I may be able to get these right here. Maybe. Let me give you a shot of it. I'll pull you down off the uh, off the tripod so you can see what I've got here. You seem a lot better now. A lot better from this uh, from this angle. But you can see it's got those spring type retainers that 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 hold it those tubes in there. I'm gonna change both those out. And what happened here when it was doing all that? I tried reseeding the tubes and it, it didn't work. And I, like I said, I called a musician's friend. And I talked to my buddy Farmall, 1938. He, it's all the same kind of the same con, consensus that you know it's a tube issue, and so I'm pretty confident that it'll fix it. I'm hoping you can see EL84 China there. I guess you can see it. I don't know. I don't know how well this video is picking up, but they're Chinese, so about uh, that'd be a good place to start. If it says Chinese on it, you know, we're all kind of plagued with that. If we have, uh, especially you Volkswageners, you know what it's like to get uh, aftermarket Chinese parts and them not work. So, pretty straightforward, guys. I just pulled the retainer back, pulled the tube out. I want to put the uh, the spring retainer back over it and uh, see if we can fire it up. And hopefully, it will not make a bunch of racket this time. It really only the only time it made racket is when you started playing. We started playing through it. I don't know if it was the vibration, you know, the amp vibrating in the cabinet there, or or, or if it was, uh, you know, 
the change in voltages or whatever when you're playing I don't know I, I don't know what was going on but it uh, really was just when you were playing that it would uh, it'd do that and it was intermittent so okay guys this is encouraging you know the <clears throat> look inside this tube here see all this it's some kind of a white you know powdery stuff whatever that is I don't know scientifically but obviously it's not in any of the other tubes and this was the tube Remember I said it was on the left hand side where it was making all the racket that this is the tube that was doing that I'm hoping this is the indication that it's the the tube itself nothing nothing else to do with the amp so because the amp man when it before it started doing that I'd, I'd play through it just for maybe oh I don't know just a little bit 20 minutes or something and it started doing that and I like the I like it uh, the the reason I bought it obviously you know when I play out uh, I, I can't haul my stuff all the time back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so I wanted to leave one amp in house where I play and have one here so this is the amp uh, it had really just awesome ratings almost like it's out of five stars like 4.75 and one of the one of the guy, one of the guys who posted and, and and gave a you know the the rating on it. His rating was it sounds like you got something big and British behind you. You know, referring to I'm assuming he's referring to Marshall. Could have been referring to another company. I don't know. But anyway, it was like uh, all the ratings a total of almost five stars, four point seven five. So I thought I'd try it. You know, and you can watch uh, there's YouTube videos on this uh, this particular amp the Jet City um, 20 uh, you can get on there and watch if you want to if you're interested in buying one I'm gonna do my own review but I like the way it sounded when I played through it for the tw the first 20 minutes that I that I used it before it started making all the racket it sounded great uh, anyway I'm gonna finish it up here so. alright there we are fellas it fixed it it's good to go um, I'm gonna play through it a little bit so you can see what it sounds like uh, I don't know. I mean, I, for to me, it, it it sounds good. Sounds good. I like it so far, which I haven't really played. Uh, haven't really played out with it, but I like what I hear. I'm gonna be using my. Um, I'm gonna be using my Telecaster. This Telecaster, I don't know, guys. I love it. I mean, as far as let me just turn the volume down here. So I can talk. A, tr a guy who likes a traditional Telecaster might not appreciate it too much, but to me, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good compromise, I guess. It has a lot of sustain. The alder body and the way that they designed the, uh, it being a custom Telecaster, you can see where it strings, how it strings up. It's got a completely different bridge, and the, it's got two humbuckers, which I don't care for. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a GFS lipstick tube humbucker, but it's tappable to where I can go ahead and install that, the, the humbucker, but tap it to where I'm just using one coil to get that more traditional uh, lipstick tube sound. And I want to install a push push um, pot right there so that I can access that. It, it's okay. I, I mean, I, I like, I like, I had a, a um, I don't know if you guys remember my red, I had a red Telecaster. I don't have that anymore. And it was a traditional American Telecaster. And I liked it better. But this, man, it is, uh, for what it is, it's awesome. The neck is super on this guitar. Super. Uh, I've got really low action, which I like. The neck feels good. It has great sustain. The only thing I don't like is not having the lipstick tube sound. But for rock, it's it's a it's a full on rock and roll guitar. You know, it's great for that. But let me just I think what before I play anything, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I want to show you the uh, I want to show you the pickup I'm talking about. This is it, guys. Uh, I found it. A buddy of mine actually found it for me at Guitar Fetish, and that is tappable. So I can use this, just tap it and use one of those um, portions of the humbucker and get that, well, you know, the, the, the it's referred to here as the, the cool chimney tone. 
whatever you want to call it. It's it's turn the gain up a little bit. Get a little distortion going. I had no effects. I left my I left all my my effects at the uh, where I'm playing. So this is just straight amp. Just just uh, pushing the gain. Okay, you know, you clean it up. Sounds pretty good, you know, but I don't know. I, I, I play with not, I mean, I don't like to overdo effect, but I like to have, I play, I usually play with um, some delay chorus. Um, Sometimes flanger, you, off and on distortion, depending on what I'm playing. But it, it's, uh, yeah, I think the, I think it's gonna be a pretty good little amp. I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, a little short video. I'm glad it's fixed, and uh, I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna mess around with it because it takes me a while, you know, learning a new, a new amp where I like everything to be set. But I'm pretty happy with it. You know, if if all that is, was wrong with it was the tubes, I'm good with that. And I want to get my other guitars and play around with the uh, play around with the sound. See what happens. I've got I've got a um, a project I want to I want to do for a buddy of mine. Um, I want to write uh, hopefully soon write an intro track for his channel and and another thing uh, farm all we got more more project more more to do on that project. Uh, let me go ahead and play what I did with that uh, I'm going to play for you what I did with the um, with that soundtrack that I was messing with. Guys, I don't know if you can see uh, yeah, that's probably not good. Probably not good. Let me see if I can adjust the screen to where you can see what I'm doing. Let me zoom it in a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Okay, maybe that'll help. So you can see what I'm doing. This was the the piano boogie. This track here that uh, that Farmall sent me. This is the rhythm track, and I decided to use the jazz type chords in this. This is the lead track, and I tried. I really tried to keep the lead tasteful and not overplay. Um, but the more I mess with it, you know, after I laid these three tracks down, it sounded like an old roadhouse kind of a. Uh, a situation that's what I was hearing in my mind so I went into all the effects I've got all kinds of I got like a, a thousand and one uh, effect tracks so what I started doing was adding in here uh, like crowd noise and so on and so forth so I'm just going to go ahead and play it for you this isn't like the final mix I sent for a sample of what I did but let's go ahead and play it and see what you think Got some crowd noise going. Really fun project. But you can get kind of what you know what I'm talking about, guys. How to me, you know, music. 
some guys, you know, it's it's music doesn't mean the same thing to them. They can get in a you know get in a car, turn on the stereo, go down the road. To me, when when I hear music, I start I guess the way my mind works, I start envisioning things. You know, it's like a it's like uh, uh, it can maybe even take you back to a place in time. But with this one, the, after I started doing this, putting all this together, and after I laid the lead track down, I listened back to it, and I thought, man, that just sounds like an old roadhouse tune. And I started just going into the effects and just really kind of had fun with it. And it's, to me, it's like the same thing an artist does, you know, with a paintbrush. But uh, anyway, I had a lot of fun with it. And I, what I'm hoping to do with this is take, um, I recorded myself recording tracks. I've got the, the recorded video of uh, when Pharma was recording his track. And I'm hoping to put all those things together, just leave the the... The, the mix the track down and put it in the video and start splicing in um, man my camera is really going nuts let's see yeah I can see the light sorry about that guys I guess it's time to upgrade the camera anyway the um, it's kind of interesting kind of interesting process and I want to kind of put that video together and see what happens with that I've got some other guys on YouTube that are, that are kind of thinking about participating in projects, which is pretty cool. And uh, my videos, I know that the, my last few videos, the lighting has been really weird. I guess my camera's given out. I've had it for about three years now, so maybe I'll have to upgrade. Sorry about that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it off right here, and we'll get this edited and get it up on the YouTube. Later.